focus their attention on the parent with the problem that they actually are feeling the emotion from. Yeah. So for example, another example that I gave, my, Michael and Fiona, are, we mentioned Fee earlier, myself and then we're driving in a car in Barbados, little Luca was sitting right next to me and he turns around to me and says, I hate you AJ. And I said to uh, Michael Fee, which one of you hate me at the moment? <laughs> And Fee says, uh, I think it was me. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mike says, uh, then Mike, uh, so little Luca then says to Michael, Mike, Fiona's partner, and what was he saying? Oh, silly Mike, silly Mike, stupid Mike, silly Mike. And he just kept on that, like, silly Mike, stupid Mike, like that. And Mike's going, oh boy, oh boy, like, what's going on now? And he realised that this was a message, in fact, that he kept on getting from his mother that he felt, that he'd never connected to and felt inside of himself and started. So just straight away, this is what Luca was doing all day. So if you can imagine, he was perfect little trigger. It was great to be with him because every single moment of every single day, he, he would go up to people in a group. So the people come to a group like this and he'd go, uh, this is little three-year-old child. Because you're, you hate your mother. And like, the person that was there is a 28, 29 year old man, and his mother is sitting right next to him. And he says to her, hey, you hate your mother. And then he goes on to the next person, like, just like that, just one comment. And, and, he's, and the man's saying, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't hate you, anything like that. But the truth is that there was this emotion in him where, of deep hatred towards mum because of some events in his childhood that mum allowed to occur. And uh, Luca was just constantly reflecting to every single person the emotion that they were feeling. So, you know, another time he'd just come up and belt somebody. So this, this sounds like an unruly child, doesn't it? And most people would condemn the child and say, oh, it's so unruly. You know? But in reality, he's perfectly reflecting the emotion he feels from that particular person right at that moment. Right at that moment. So that's pretty confronting if we start looking at it that way, isn't it? Everything the child is doing right at that moment is a reflection of my interaction with that child emotionally. 